I do not fear our enemy. They talk of peace and dream of war. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the biggest things you need to know before playing Assassin's Creed Shadows this year. Also, a big thank you to Ubisoft for inviting Mojo Plays to Ubisoft Forward to experience Assassin's Creed Shadows. We are the Shadows. That serve the light. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Time period. I told you, keep walking. Fans begged Ubisoft for years to set a game in feudal Japan. They probably should have done it sooner so that they didn't get literally sucker punched by Sucker Punch and Ghost of Tsushima. But it's here now and we're over the moon. We're going to the Sengoku period, a violent era of Japanese history in the 15th and 16th centuries, as Daimyo Oda Nobunaga is in charge of nearly all of Honshu. History buffs will know that Nobunaga is destined to be betrayed by one of his most loyal generals, Akechi Mitsuhide, in the 1580s, and we're sure to see this play out in the game given who its protagonists are. More on that later. We are the shadows. That serve the light. World. Their soldiers killed everyone. I do not fear our enemy. Fans will be relieved to hear that this game isn't trying to represent an entire country for the first time in years. It's not even trying to represent all of Honshu and is instead set in the Kansai region around Kyoto. It's been claimed by Shadow's creative director that the game's map will be the same size as Origins map. So now we know who he worked for. And Daimyo. Fukuyama Kazu. That was still too big for some, but at least it's a smaller scale than Odyssey and Valhalla. Then again, Ubisoft also claimed back in early 2020 that Valhalla was going to be smaller and shorter than Odyssey, and that turned out to be a complete lie. We'll have to wait for Shadows to release to see how long it really ends up being. <laughs> Dual protagonists. <laughs> Shadows is being led by Ubisoft Quebec, the lead studio for Syndicate and Odyssey before it, and Immortals Phoenix Rising for those die-hard Greek mythology fans. As such, we're not surprised to see dual protagonists making a return in a similar vein to Jacob and Evie Fry. I was going to handle this. Too slow. But the differences between Yasuke and Naoe are even clearer than with Jacob and Evie, who still played very similarly. Yasuke is a real-life figure shrouded in mystery, a formidable samurai for Oda Nobunaga in 1581 and 1582, believed to be from Africa. He's a warrior with little need for stealth. Naoe, meanwhile, is a shinobi and will be performing the game's many assassinations. We can't wait to see how they work together. Seasons Valhalla only kind of had seasons. It did have regions of the map that represented different times of the year, but those times of the year happened simultaneously. You could ride from wintry Northumbria all the way down to Wessex in summer and back again in 30 minutes. This won't be the case for Shadows, which has a dynamic four-season system. Engines is on lonely paths now, eh? Believe me, there are other ways to heal. There will be snow in winter, cherry blossoms in spring, and heat and rain in summer. This is reminiscent of Assassin's Creed 3, which had two seasons, though the seasons changed based on where you were in the story. Finally, they've said that Shadows will have more wildlife than any other entry in the series, and that the wildlife will change depending on what time of year it is. Fukuchiyama. At last. Graphics. When fighting a snake, why wrestle the body when you can slice off the head? Unless you're running the games on ultra settings on a high-end PC, you'll definitely have noticed the last few AC entries showing their age. Valhalla and Mirage both launched on PS4 and Xbox One as well, and, as such, couldn't measure up graphically to some other recent games. The 2020s have blown us away with graphics so far, and finally, Ubisoft seems to be catching up. Our people deserve to be freed of the oppressor's grasp. Shadows is the best-looking AC game yet, and hopefully it'll also run at 4K 60fps as standard. 
Maybe it's too much to believe that a game that doesn't need fidelity and performance toggles could exist, but we can dream. It would be good if Ubisoft figures out how to fix the screen tearing issues that plagued Valhalla and Mirage at high frame rates, though. A stranger might make good merit leading a village of a threat like these men. Is that so? Then I shall see it done. Environmental manipulation. <gasps> Who did that? Ubisoft has already talked about how the changing seasons will affect the environment, such as rivers freezing over in the wintertime so they can't be used for stealth opportunities, but there are many other ways to use the environment too. One thing we've seen is now we extinguishing lanterns to create darkness that you can then use for sneaking. This also distracts any nearby guards who see the lights go out. And in one trailer, we saw her cut down large bamboo shoots during combat. This kind of environmental manipulation is something Ubisoft is better known for doing in Far Cry, but we're glad to see more ways to affect the environment beyond just setting things on fire. It's sure to add depth and variety. Parkour! It's also good when the franchise refreshes its parkour system. Parkour is what makes Assassin's Creed unique, and we've now got even more options, including a partial return of Syndicate's grappling hook. Though the grappling hook seemed odd at first, its absence was definitely felt, along with Revelation's short-lived hook blade. Naoe has a new grappling hook attached to a rope, allowing her to quickly scale walls, swing, and even use it to assassinate people from afar, much like the brutal rope dart in Black Flag that could be used to hang enemies from trees. We even saw her use it to climb onto a ceiling and hide, Spider-Man style. Stealth. Don't worry, I won't be alone. It'll be me and the shadows. Speaking of hiding, Naoe has more stealthy strategies available to her than just utilizing this grappling hook. There are more places than ever to hide, and light and shadows will change how easily enemies can detect you. This is thanks to Shadow's all-new global illumination system, and we wonder if ray tracing will also play a part, though Ubisoft hasn't said anything about RTX implementation yet. It's rare to see a modern stealth game actually utilize shadow cover, so we're glad to see it return as a mechanic. Other stealth mechanics include new assassinations, like the ability to assassinate through screen doors, going prone through tall grass, and having to worry about servants. Servants are weak enemy NPCs who won't try to fight you, but they can sound the alarm. Combat. On the flip side of the stealth gameplay is the combat. While Yasuke is our main combatant, Naoe can certainly hold her own with her unique weapons too. But Yasuke is likely more versatile and will hopefully have more options for what weapons he's equipped with, with the traditional katana complemented by other deadly tools. There's also an armor system within combat, as you're able to break an enemy's armor so that it falls off and they're more vulnerable. This, again, makes combat more dynamic than it's ever been before in the series, which makes sense because it has the deep swordplay mechanics of games like Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima to compete with. Release. So, when can you get your hands on Assassin's Creed Shadows? Currently, the release date is November 15th, 2024, and Assassin's Creed is a series that Ubisoft rarely, if ever, delays. So, we're sure it will make that deadline. If you pre-order the Collector's Edition, however, you can play three days early. In that Collector's Edition, you get a steelbook, art book, statue, world map, and some other trinkets. As for platforms, it looks like Ubisoft has finally ditched 8th gen consoles, and it only took four years. Beyond what we see, and we must look for it together. It's going to be released on PS5, Xbox Series X, PC, and bizarrely on Mac OS if you have Apple Silicon. There's also going to be a season pass included in certain editions, so you can be sure we're going to see DLC released for Shadows 2. To being allies then. 
Let us know in the comments how hyped you are for Assassin's Creed Shadows. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.